Hello and welcome to the channel. If you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe and like this video because likes gets me recommendation and recommendation is good. So anyway, let's go ahead and cover this story. Now, Jim Ryan has put out a statement saying that he likes crossplay, which is just a bunch of bullshit. All right. Sony hates crossplay. Let's be completely honest here. So let's go ahead and cover this article and then I will tell you what my thoughts are. All right. So here we are. We are in game industry business. Biz. That biz. Sony is moving to accommodate more cross-platform functionality on PlayStation. That's according to PlayStation boss Jim Ryan. Who, yeah. Okay. Should we believe him? Just like we believe in generations. Remember that, Jim Ryan? Mm-hmm. Generations. You're talking all that good stuff about it, but then you just gave your PlayStation 5 fans the middle finger, which is fine. We're still enjoying our PlayStation 5 games, and PlayStation 4 can enjoy them too. They can, which is makes sense, which makes sense because there's a lot more audience on the PlayStation 4 platform than there is on the PlayStation 5 because you can't find these things anywhere. Let's proceed. We support and encourage crossplay. <laughs> wow, okay. Ryan said, nodding towards titles that already implement the future, such as Fortnite, Rocket League, Minecraft and Call of Duty, as well as titles expecting a crossplay update such as Destiny 2. Ryan also assured the number will continue to grow. Sony has previously found itself under criticism for its approach to crossplay. Why instance surfaced recently during May's Epic versus Apple antitrust trial, where it was revealed that Sony asks companies for compensation and should they want to enable crossplay in games. Another example of Sony's historic crossplay uh, retinces popped up last month. Gearbox Randy Pitchford shared that crossplay functionality will not be coming to PlayStation version of Borderlands 3. Sony's initially blocked crossplay for affirmation titles, Rocket League, and Minecraft back in 2017, 2017 but eventually Relacted following a comprehensive evaluation process. Now, uh, I would have to call bullshit on this last um, statement part over right here because the only reason that Sony allowed the crossplay to happen for Minecraft and Fortnite and those other, you know, um, games or whatnot is because. You know they had so much backlash. They Sony got so much backlash when they didn't want, did not want to make uh, Fortnite um, cross-platform, and a lot of people voiced their opinion and let them know like they did. They wanted the crossplay. They wanted to be able to take their game to wherever they're playing. You can go from your mobile phone to your console to your mobile phone to Switch to gaming PC to wherever you like, you know? So that's the convenience of crossplay and everything is just there. Now, Sony wanted a piece of the action. Sony wants compensation, you know? And it was shown during the Epic versus um, Apple, which I also made a video on and it was proven that, you know, Sony gets some change, some money, if they feel like they're not, you know, performing or the game isn't performing as well as they should be. So anytime that you play, if you originally bought the game on Sony and you set it up on Sony, and then let's just say you go and play it on your Xbox or play it on your Switch and you make a purchase on your Switch or your Xbox, guess what? That profit goes straight to Sony because of what they had to do in order for them to have cross-play. So it makes sense that Borderlands 3 is in cross-platform, even though Red Jim Ryan says that, you know, more um, cross-play is coming, but I'm still wondering if they have to be, if they have to pay, is there compensation available to, you know, to those companies? Are you charging them money in order for them to bring cross-play? Because for some indie dev devs, it's not worth it to pay compensation, especially if you're a smaller company. You know, it makes no sense. Like Among Us should be cross-platform on all, you know, it should be. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should it be? I think it should be. 
I think it is. Or is it? I'm not sure. But I guess, like I said, Jim Ryan can't be trusted. I don't trust him. You know, he says a lot of things and then they have to backtrack. But who knows if this is actually true. Um, I want to see like an indie developer that has crossplay um, available. And let's see if it's available on Sony as well, too, because that's how I will know that whether this is true or not, especially if you're an indie developer, you're a smaller company, you know, cross play, um, especially um, cross play like, you know, if you're having to pay money to Sony to make your game cross play. It's not going to be worth it, especially if you're an indie developer. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Have a good one.